Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV. Uh, today we're going to be racing NCCRS at Atlanta. Uh, this is the 2022 version, so the yellow line rule is obviously not in place. Seeing the line is white, so uh, no yellow line rule for this track for the AI to run since this is the 2022 version. There is honestly dead on us. I could not find the 2023 version. This area 23 has their situations going on, I guess. I don't know. Nonetheless, though, uh, let's start from where we have two playoff drivers, one of which is currently above the cut line at 10 with this pole, six flame, or pole sitter. I have 20 points above the cut line coming into this race, uh, which is a decent cushion. Coming up, uh, uh, only I got this Coca Cola and Cars on the Speedway left in the schedule, so he's looking pretty decent to make his first ever championship four bid. And then Space Guy starting next to him, who's had a stellar season, has been advancing through almost every round and is currently uh 33 below the cut line coming to this race after a very poor race at Watkins Glen and high four highest starting or four highest starting yeah four highest starting playoff drivers is six flame space guide all in the front row and then you got 324 fan and zigzagoon 324 fan is six below the cut line zigzagoon is three above the cut line just a little note there uh we got dark x in the booth with us today you got any initial thoughts to start off this uh, event? Yeah, we have our first playoff drivers in the front row, Fake Flames and uh, Space Guy. They're looking in a good position to stay into the above the playoff line. And they're staring side by side. And for our lowest playoff drivers, they're going to have a lot of work to do. Since Atlanta is, since it's like the super speedway version of Atlanta, it should be easy to go to the front or maybe hard to pass at all. As we see, Nimrod is the lowest. Yep. She's going to have a lot of work to do. Yep. She's coming in 12 to the good, which is not that great of a cushion, to be honest. Then also, there on the other side of that cut line is uh, Brock Nelson, Saber Fox, and Frank Chilton. As well, keep in mind. Great super speedway, a lot of positions can change. Uh, wrecks can happen. You gotta avoid those. And 26 laps out there to gain points. Uh, not a long race at all, but definitely something to keep in mind for everyone looking for points, especially those playoff drivers. Yeah. And also those drivers working, looking for a regular season, just finish those standings as well. So. Don't don't snooze on these regular season guys at all. But yeah, that is that on that part of the spectrum. The Nimrod starting in the back did not have a great qualify effort, and uh, some of the other playoff drivers did not have that great qualify either. Have to oh, step up the game a little bit. But again, 26 laps here. Uh, old, there's points on the table. Not a whole lot, but there's points. You just got to get what you can get when the getting's good, which this might be now. Because next week, Coca Cola Super Speedway, uh, that's going to be the ch elimination race. Uh, so that, that's definitely going to be something to be wary of. You never want to come in on the outside looking in. You always want to be on the inside, <laughs> if at all possible. And uh, we see a lot of guys already trying to do that with their qualify, but it's going to be laps led. It's going to be interesting to see. Rex, if we have any, are going to be a factor. Uh, pretty important race. Uh, this, this race could make or break your championship. Uh, got about 30 seconds to the command. Again, Six Flame. For Roach Racing, uh, Kestrel starting on pole. And we got uh, three Wild Wolf Motorsports cars right behind that. Um, we got Ryan Cole and the 55 starting sixth. Seventh, Marker Leonard, Roach Racing teammate. Eighth, Ken Williams, and you got ninth and tenth. But we're going to go ahead and get these engines uh, started here. Drivers, stop! Your engines!
kind of say that, but you get to see how the Reds get to go for it today. Yep. Yeah, we we'll see our nice little red Camaro. I believe we have, uh, it looks like everyone on the field seems to be good on, uh, score over their radios, so no issues. Hi, starting Camaro is a double zero. Rubin and Gonzalez had about around the round of 12. Unfortunately, was not able to make the round of 8. Uh, still around 16, however. All right. If we wait for the flag, man, to wave the green flag, and we are green at Atlanta. Or no, double and zero six car. Lanes. Double zero. Rubin Gonzalez has been in the league since its start. Is yet to win a race, and we also had a lap one hero there. Uh, well, I reckon lap one would be not a great way to start. And six flame, every lap yeah, led is crucial for that 63 car. That's every point he does not have to worry about. But as Noah Clifton, he's going to try to get the run here and steal this lap. He's going to do it. Uh, six flame is he's not running. successful leading it. Ooh. And now we just got to hope everyone stays clean and in the wall goes a 22. That might be the big one. That is the caution here at Atlanta. We see the four of uh, Frank Chilton involved. Some more cars appear. Looks like 37. And we see more. Uh, Jeremy Frey, uh, Craig Packers. Yeah, Frank Chilton. Heavy damage. Nothing on the front end though. Uh, they see, we've seen him go four wide um, in the corner. That does not work. A uh, space guy. Despite that, only really has side damage. Not done for the day, but. That's going to be a huge dent in their already deficit right now. So it was coming to it was start of lap two when this happened, and they just went four wide with Alex Tanker, Ryan Cole, and uh, the forty-five. So this happened mid-pack, then. Yeah, a little bit closer yeah, to the front. The wall, yeah. Looks like the eighty-three fifty-one. Was able to avoid, and I think Nimrod was also successful. Oh, Nimrod's got some damage from the 43. We wanted to watch. I don't know where the 46 got involved, though. He was done. He was really. Oh, wait. Ahead of that. No, oh, he just, he had just gotten damage from the stack up. I don't know where the 37 got involved, though. Yeah, because I think this happened after the first incident. So it may have been two different. It oh, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, the 47 bounced off and got into the three. Yeah, Man, someone else also got damage as well. Unfortunate. 37 is still in it. Uh, just some heavy damage. Um, disqualifications are a thing, but because it's so late in the season, I I'm just not going to disqualify playoff drivers unless they're so obliviously slow they're like going getting lapped every two laps, three laps maybe. But we already got two out of the race: Craig Pockers and Cooper. Unfortunately. Um, uh, they really actually weren't directly involved in that accident. There's nowhere to go for those guys, but uh, just wanted to watch. But we know Frank Chilton, uh, Nimrod, and Space Guy were involved. Space Guy, to arguably, could have backed out of that, been in better shape, but uh, Frank Chilton has no rear end. And that's definitely not where you want to be in 38th position on a racetrack. The second race of the playoffs, 21 below with a cut line right now. Definitely not where, sh where uh, Frank wants to be. Space guy not looking much better at all. 29th. And uh, same deal. 33 below the cut line. Nimrod is above the cut line. I don't... It looked like they got into the 43 a little bit. We'll have to see if there's any damage. I'm not seeing the hood up any. So they may just get a little lucky there with the physics and uh, damage and all. So... But I did. they did get in the back of the 43. It'll be ones to watch for sure. Uh, as this race goes on, but back to the front, it uh, looks like uh, Marker Leonard in the 66 leading us right now. And we're going to go green, not this time, but next time, bye. I don't think he has a win yet this season. Uh, he does, actually. He won at, I believe, he won at Papyrus. First worst part. Oh, okay. So you fact, every, get another every win, but it's going to be hard. In fact, every rich racing driver except for Craig Packers has a win this season. Unfortunately, Craig will not be able to do that today as he did get involved in that accident. Uh, it's going to put a pretty big dent in his chances this year for a decent standings finish. As he's actually had a late, pretty decent late charge. Uh, he'll have to try to come and clutch the next couple of weeks to do that. Super Speedway is something. 
Again, not going green this time. Next time we are, uh, we're going to try a double follow restart here. I'm also going to go ahead and pause the game. That way I can tab out and turn on our green white checkers in the instance we need them. And it looks like the game well, agrees with me on that. Lid. Yep. So we'll have to watch the 17, make sure he doesn't jump the start. The 17's also had a really late season charge as well, have been very consistent. They're also definitely ones to watch. And I think so the name of the game the now moment, is... Top... So I think our top playoff driver at the moment is still... Six lane. Yep, with that pull. They have a little bit he of cushion. Currently... Couple spots think... ahead of Zig Zagoon. Only a card different split to play out drivers. Yep, so we're gonna double up here. Yeah, we're gonna try a double follow restart. Uh, if we don't have in if we have issues, uh, we're gonna do something different. And uh, they were able to make it a lap under green, so I don't think we're gonna need to do uh, the the file cooldown, I guess it would be. That would uh, lessen the likelihood of cautions with single file starts. Yeah, keep me on a back to make sure those guys are able to keep up with speed, so. Yeah. And we'll we'll we see if that's an issue. Ooh. See if we can even get some replay runs like he... in. He was he's good. 100%, no doubt. Nice battle, still side by side for the lead. Yep. Byron Turn Webb and Nelson. Webb and Leonard. Yeah, Webb and uh, it looks like someone's going to make it four wide in the back. That yeah. usually isn't going to work at a track so near as this one. Yeah, Jimmy was able to pull ahead. <laughs> well, at the moment. Yeah, J Jimmy was able to pull ahead of that and not get four wide. And around goes the 51. That is another yellow. He is on the wall. Oh, it happens. So, Brendan Webb, Monster. I think Rally Gorch was in it. Was that a fourth car, or? There was. It might have been more. Of course, it had to be teammates. Uh, playoff driver. And uh, that's Thunder 24. So, it didn't really go. So it looks like it happened between. The 51 just got caught in the cross. Oh, it looks like the 33 came up into the 16. Into the 83, 51 had nowhere to go. I don't think anyone else was involved. Everyone else was able to cleanly avoid. Yeah, no, that. Give some yeah, cars, nowhere uh, to go. Ooh, 70, 75 with a little damage, but. Uh, a couple of guys did get scraped. Yeah, it gives some guys some extra There's chance some... to. Uh, why is Nimrod got issues? That's not good. Nimrod well, is. Like a is, that a, is that oh, a. Yeah, we gotta be wine now. No, it looks like she ran into somebody. Let's see. Was it coming? I think to the, so. Was there Let's a wreck? See. Was there a wreck after the yellow came out? There was. Oh, there was a big wreck after the yellow came out. Oh, it was Gonzalez, the seventeen Jimmy Star. Another incident, and this happened. This was after the caution. What happened here? Out. This is after the caution. They raced to the caution. And then the 87 went four wide after the caution. Zigzagoon led to the yellow, by the way, so it's very important him being a playoff driver. Came into the 19. Let's see what happened here. Saber Fox got in the 19. So Saber Fox get into Jimmy Star. Melinda Jimmy Jones got the. And there's another incident too. Yeah, LJ Toledo and Melinda Jones. Ooh. Toledo saves it. Jimmy gets into the number. Can't tell what number it is. The number. Uh. Yep, there goes double zero seventeen. And look like there's another incident ahead of that. Seventeen. Matthew Hill makes it through. I don't think there was another. I think incident. someone else. Is... Yeah, I saw smoke ahead. Nimrod, nowhere to go. You may have to go back to see it. There was nothing, nowhere there was to no, go. There was nothing else. Yeah. And this, this is where the initial wreck Brennan happened. Nelson, like... Yeah, I'm talking about when we was watching this one. We might have missed it by that point. 
I think Frank actually avoided this, but maybe some rear damage. Yeah, and I think Nimrod's day is unfortunately done. Uh, kind of. They did not need that, but... Oh, yeah, that's... Very interesting cam there it decided to go to. The timing was impeccably perfect. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to turn off our double fall starts because it just seems like that's an issue. And I'm going to turn disable collisions under yellow to prevent any thing like that happening again. I think nearly every Don Witcher once for a car has got a rake. Yeah, you might be right. So the 33... I think it's every driver. I think the 33, the 29, the 16, and the... No, they're still running. They just got involved in the wreck. They're still running. The uh, 33, 16, and the 71, I think, is also still running. So I think Nimrod's really the only one out, out of the race, which is the only one they don't need out of the race. None of them running well. Though. Yeah, that's not looking too good for her. None of them running well. Um, so we're going to try to uh, do single fall starts from here on out, seeing that they cannot keep it clean. So this could help Zig Zagoon out, being the leader. And look at it again, two player drivers battling for the battling for the lead. You gotta love it. Yep. Question now Zig is Zig Flame and Zig Zagoon. Saber Fox didn't get any damage from that. Uh, that's definitely gonna be. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't entirely blame it on him either. So, Against single file starts from here on out, seeing they can't keep it uh, green. So, yep. Twelve out of twenty-six laps, and I think only what three or four cars that are out now. Probably, probably more than that. Yeah, about um, a little less oh, yeah, than ten. A little less than ten. Uh, I'm gonna give a, the a lap to the thirty-seven. They're still in it. So he's the lucky dog. The yeah, essentially so. Plus one lap. I was just waving him around, but no point. Okay. Like so someone, someone was. Oh, I saw smoke, but that's a that is the graphics. But we are green. Yep, and Zigzagoon. And Zigzagoon leads them to the rest. Well, has the restart line, just hey. Yep, looking pretty good right now in the 06. Here comes six lanes at the bottom. Here he goes, battle for the lead. Dodd versus Pontiac. And it looks like he's going to get him down the back stretch, and he does. And to turn number three. LJ Toledo just trying to lead him. going to try to take second. Six Flame just trying to lead a lap Ooh, here. LJ Toledo is trying to steal it, and he will. Six Flame not has not let a single does. lap yet because he keeps getting passed. And the 58's around into the 0-6. Oh, and that's another caution. That's catastrophic. Yeah, six flame wall ride. That's not recoverable. Frank Chilton's oh, involved. And in the, in the insult, Jimmy, Jimmy Stark gets into the zigzag going. Ooh, that was nasty. Oh, yeah. that was a good battle. So the 48 of Eric Let's Monaco, uh, that's going to be a, uh, a uh, that's going to be a probably a suspension there. Well, let's see. I don't know. Squeeze on the forward panel and Straight Toledo. Up. He's gonna get. Know. He's going he to get. Him, he's but... going to get into the longest line. He's not gonna be up front on this next one. That was uncalled for. And then nowhere for the twenty-two or the four to go. So they're all done. Oh, and Frank is in it. And then the eighty-three. So this may just be free for all between a bunch of guys oh, who didn't finish in the playoffs, bad. unfortunately, which I did not want. Oh uh, so, yeah, this is. I so, think that's like our third or fourth player I'm involved in an accident. Yep, so 83 is still running somehow. And probably better than what they were before. LJ Toledo currently leading. Uh, 48 going to get the EOL. Poor Frank. Yeah, cause I think Frank is out. A lot of cars with damage that aren't going to finish this thing. So who gets the? So that's uh. So well, the lucky dog? I, well, I think the free pass card would be Monster if he's still in it, which he is. So he's gonna get the free pass. Let's see. 
So Jim stars out to 58 is retired. I think there might be more. Probably. 22 is somehow still running, but Frank's done in that uh, Ford car. That 22 car is this still is somehow running. This is not what he needed. Yeah, he's probably got some pretty heavy engine damage in that 22. Be surprised they limped to the finish, but uh, Frank Shelton's done for the day. Uh, 51 still in it, and the 06 done for the day. And so really thing just for him, if he's able to stay out, and now they're playing a drive to get more damage, this could put on both the uh, cutoff line. Really so like this could how... work in his benefit. We'll see how points stack up. Coming to 10 to go, it's open. We can finish this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 10 laps to go, if your competitor gets in another wreck and you're able to avoid it, they can actually play in his favor. Yep. So, this race, as it is now, coming down to which player driver survives the wrecks, if you were able to stay out of it, they can easily go in your hands. Yep. Certainly so. So, it's so this race has definitely changed the scenario of these playoff drivers. Yep. You able to finish any of your competitors, or your competitor makes a mistake and gets involved in a wreck. Take advantage of it. And we're going to restart with maybe nine laps to go as Six Flames is in second behind Ella Chilito, one of our top playoff drivers, and second playoff driver is Brandon Nelson. I believe he's in the top could be in the top ten. Yep, you got a little bit of rear end damage. Yep, right, right, right behind last week's winner, uh, Tufty Tur. If Ronnie so Racing were, run now. if yeah. Ronnie Racing were still an organization, all three of their cars have a win this season, except for, or actually no, one driver does not shred. <laughs> but, and technically, they oh, do have yeah. a win. They have the season championship, their regular season championship. Unfortunately, they got eliminated after the first round uh, due to poor performance, but. Actually, I think they got eliminated after... I could... I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a crazy season. Lots of this. Let's see. But, uh... Get the kinks out. See what it does. I'll say this. If Brandon Nelson can stay out of trouble... <laughs> yeah, this 04 does. Yep, hopefully. I'll say one thing. If Brandon Nelson can stay out of trouble... I think he... I think he's good. Yeah, he actually did get involved Six in, uh... Flight. He's been involved in a few of these wrecks, so he's definitely not out of the woods. So at the moment, we have Six Flames, Brandon Nelson, and I think NASCAR 24 fan is still out there. Uh, he's one of our third playoff drivers. NASCAR 24 fan? Who? Oh, you mean NASCAR? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thunder 24 I mean, fan. Uh, Thunder 24 fan. Yeah, he, uh, he's still running. Yeah, he's getting any place. He's got... A lot so of that's damage. Three out of our... he, he's been involved in just about every wreck, but he's still running. Oh, uh, yeah, and plus, Space Guy set out there. So that's four of our eight playoff drivers. It's... Depends on where they're finished, they should be doing well. Yep. As we are back to green. Yep. Oh, f that... oh looks yeah, like someone's really. The 101 did not as... go. A lot of guys slowed up there. Yeah, the 101 has. But I think we stay green. The 101 has some severe <laughs> Ooh, issues, so man. they're probably gonna throw a yellow for that 101 car here in a second because he is not running at all. Maybe. Yeah, if he stops, and that's the, a yellow. The 07 also. The 07 is done as well. I'm actually gonna have to Ooh. DQ them because of where they're at. As we do have a battle for first, LA Toledo versus Marker uh, Leonard. Just, yeah, Marker Leonard. They're side by side. They're two by two. It looks like the game, the uh, yellow was Marker not thrown Leonard for the 101. I probably should have thrown the yellow, but decided against it, seeing this has already been a caution fest, and that seems to be a good move so far. I mean, he made it to pit road as we're now three wide for the lead. He did not make it to pit road. Oh, he got the call tow truck, which in a real oh. in a situation that we didn't have a caution fest, we would throw a yellow. But this being a caution fest, I said against it. Speaking of 
Speaking of caution, fifth, we may have a wreck for the lead, but I think we're going to stay green. And laps are slowly winding down to five or four laps to go. Yep. And three uh, wide for the lead. Green white checkered Maybe is four on. Four wide is not going to play through. Now we got someone blowing up on the back. We got zero seven. Smoking. Oh, he's going to come right in front of the leader. He's going to. That's well, uh, that's going to be. I think well, he didn't affect the battle for the lead. Ah, but Rocky. Well, the 93 leaves that lap as the 99 is going for the lead. Actually, actually Six Flame, he may have damage, but he's keeping up with the top pack and the same thing with Brendan Nelson. And Brendan Nelson, yeah, he's coming up as well. I have a slight damage. Oh, 83 is very off pace. I know I yeah. said I wouldn't throw any yellows for cars that were in the playoffs. Or uh, um, he didn't cause he, he didn't uh, he really he really hurt the 63 there, which oh gosh, dang, he's off pace. Okay. Well, oh, I said I, I said I wouldn't wow. throw yellows for or th I wouldn't DQ playoff drivers, and I'm sticking to that. Fortunately, well, that he is way off one. pace. He was off <laughs> pace, man. I tell you. This battle for the lead, though, is cooking. Yeah, he is super off pace. Yeah, the nine, we got like a six car. Three laps to go. I think we're safe. Yeah, two to go. I don't think he's going to come around that quick. Ooh, all three, three cars lead. running for the leader yeah, now are the all lead. of the oh, number God. 90. All of which. The Lido, they're bang, bumping and banging here. Oh, all three of these 90 cars. Two stray. <sighs> Uh, They're all right here under a blanket. All right, white flag. Next one's gonna end it, regardless of the results. The zero four trying to go low here. Oh boy. Pox Kozart, he's, he's gonna, gonna go gonna lower. Pox Kozart, oh, Daytona boy, winner. Now. Pox Kozart won at Daytona. Hasn't done anything since, but LG Toledo still trying to hold on the top. This? He's got the draft from the ninety seven. Can you get another win? Oh, it's gonna be close. We're side by side, zero fours it. got it. LJ Toledo by a nose. Yes, maybe LJ Toledo. Wow. LJ Toledo wins it by a nose. And the battle for the highest finishing playoff spot, which wasn't as high as it probably should have been, because this race was an absolute shabacle. Uh, it was eighth, and uh, I believe Six Flame did get it over the 51 of Brock Nelson finished 11th yeah i think he did and what a rally by that 48 car uh got an eol came on ninth so very impressive there and the zero seven uh just not cooperating at all but that's that's another problem for another day it may have been a wreck fit, but the ending though was definitely what i expected yep well um we're going to next week at a Coca-Cola. Shouldn't be as bad. We actually have some history at that race. Um, this is definitely going to be a deficit for some guys. And uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, since you us at uh, Atlanta, Dark, you got any closing thoughts? Well, the heartache for a couple of drivers that they got DNL. Especially for Frank. He's going to have to come clutch at. Is it Coca-Cola Super Speedway? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'll have to come in clutch there. Yeah, but my surprise that the guy that literally stayed out is Thunderfan24, even though he almost caught the wreck, and then I guess uh, Space Guy, he stayed in, at least get a top 10, so this should help him be able to cut off line, or even maybe, maybe have him get in clutch. But for the others, it's pretty much clutch. Yep. Well, uh, we're going to see you all next week, Coca-Cola.